All right, guys, how's it going? It's um, Albie Dagan here, and today something arrived in the mail. Now, it would be my motorized bike kit, guys. Look, it's a massive box. It's like it's like as long as my hand. Look at that. And um, yeah, so let's just see. So um, let's just bring it into the workshop that day, shall we? Right, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's just see what's in this box here. Now, um, the engine um, colors would either be it's a black one or a silver one. I have a silver one over there, but I'm hoping this will be a black one, but it really doesn't matter, but you know, I already have a silver one, but you know, I, sh um, I get what I get, so let's just open it up. I'm gonna be using this, um, this uh, flathead screwdriver just to tear the tape here, bit on the top here, to see, see if that works. You guys, I don't know if you noticed, but like in here, it's jam packed. We've got, we've got dirt bikes, Got a CRF 100, a YZ 250, got uh, mint lawnmowers, <laughs> we got lawnmowers, uh, petrol, more lawnmowers. We got, we already have this motorized bike here. That's an 80 cc. Um, that one just needs a new chain. I have a new chain on it on the way. We have another mower here and a whipper snipper. I have two more whipper snippers over here. I have like a really nice green one there, and I have a leaf blower. In fact. That leaf blow is so awesome, guys. It's so cool. And we have a WR426 over there. And the bike I'll be using is this uh, giant mountain bike. As you can see, the frame is nice and thin, so the engine will fit right in there really well. Overall, it's the perfect bike to put it on. This one here, this bike frame was a little bit thick, so I had to do a bit of adjustments to make it fit. But overall, it's the right bike. I already have the sprocket mounted. In fact, I had a spare one laying around, so I just put it on so I won't have to do the, the, the hardest part. But yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll be the perfect bike to use it on. Anyway, let's just get this open and, um, and yeah, let's just, uh, just see what's inside. I hope this isn't too hard to open. Alright guys, so we got... Um, so my mum just opened up the, uh, the box at the very end and we have the exhaust muffler, we have the CDI unit, we have the chain tensioner, we have the clutch cable uh, uh, lever right here, we have um, the throttle grip right here, which is which looks a little bit different to the other ones, because they're usually just plastic housing, no, uh, black metal housing, you, like, you don't really see that that often, but you know, for some reason, it looks a bit old, but it, but apparently it's brand new. We also have the carby right here. Just a standard carby with um, the throttle cable already already on it. And exhaust muffler, we've got um, the, on the fuel tank lid right there, and a few nuts and bolts. There's a spark plug tool there in case. Um, let's just get the other bolt uh, and the other boxes open and um, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, so I've got this box open and it looks like it's a silver engine. That's alright. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks exactly how it's supposed to. I mean, yeah, it's in like a bloody Woolworths bag over here. For some reason, the spark plug is not in its hole. I've just left it, I've just left on um, the cylinder head. Just, oh, oh my god, this is like so shiny. This engine is like so, so shiny, guys. I just have to get this off and then. They've definitely painted this engine with like zinger or like a or like a, or like a shiny old had aluminium paint or something like that because like it's really shiny. Like you might not be able to see it properly, but like it's really shiny. I mean it should definitely be a decent little thing when it's up and going. Like if it's brand new, it'll last a little while. My last one I accidentally um um, one of the side things came off and then the magnetostator was exposed to <laughs> like all the weather and stuff like that. We'll smear a couple of things out of the way here so we can uh, get it in here and t t t take the bag off. Yeah, so um, my, my old one was a, um, was a little bit exposed to like the weather and stuff like that and it sort of ruined the magneto just a little bit so I had to buy a new one for that. Um, a little bit hard to do for one thing guys but... Surely there's a piston in there. Is that a... It looks like there's nothing in there. I'm assuming there is because it's a brand new motor. I mean, there should be... There should be... 
up with them there. Just on the phone. This, uh, this is the intake there, the code to slip on. I mean, it's definitely been painted, it's really shiny. Like, they've obviously painted it with like aluminium, shiny paint, that sort of thing. Heck's that thing? Oh, look, last like, year. Oh, um, hold on, guys, I just have to um, take this out of its uh, wrapping here. There we have it. Yeah. That's like, that's really shiny. Have you seen that? It's like, it's so shiny. I mean, it's my... Yeah, I mean, you can see the uh, un, un bits of paint from where they spray painted it. Is there a sprocket in there? Yeah, I'm just checking. <laughs> um, what about here? The, the clutch cable right here. Uh, it's nice and long, that'll fit on nicely. Got a new spark plug, but in fact I'm going to be using a NGK spark plug right here. Brand new, I bought it exactly for this kit. It'll be way better for it. Like, it's a way better spark plug. I've just, I'm just, I'm taped it up here in case like it falls out. But, um, usually I'm um, the ones that um, come in the packs are like, um, um, Chinese brands. They're dodgy, they're like not as... And they don't um, perform as well. And in fact, I've heard rumours that um, these NGK spark plugs even uh, produce a little bit more power. So I'm going to be using that one. Um, what else do we have? We have, a f um, we have a filter, but this one looks kind of crap. So we might. So and, and, and I have one here that is a little bit better. So we might just use that one. But this one, this one probably works. I mean, if I unscrew that, you know, we might be able to use it. it just looks really cheap. That's all. I mean, um, it was the cheapest on there, it was 160 bucks, but the other one was like 170 bucks, so it wouldn't really be much different. This is for the back sprocket. I just wouldn't need to do that, because I already have a rear sprocket on the back wheel on the blue bike over there. I'm going to be using that one. We have a chain, a chain, just a standard motorized bike chain. It will do the job if you look after it and maintain it. I'm going to lube it up every here and then, and she'll be right. I'll have to measure that to size as well to fit that, so that shouldn't be too hard. Now let's open the third box up. I'm going to shut this one. I think I'll have to use that screwdriver again. And the, um, these things are really handy, guys. I mean, I might not think so, but like they're like the, they're one of the most handiest tools, like in the whole workshop. Like it's it's kind of weird, but like I think it'd be like a saw or like a drill or something. But they are. But like these are a little bit more handy than those. Alright, and here I'm assuming we have the fuel tank and some fuel line. Oh yeah, fuel line. That looks a bit thick, is that like is that even fuel line? Is that even fuel line? I mean, it looks pretty thick. Usually like it's a lot more thin than that. I mean there's that. I, mean, I hope that is fuel line because I've heard of this stuff um I mean, I'm sure it'll do the job, but, you know, I'm still a bit worried about that one. I'm sure it'll be alright. A fuel tank. I'm assuming this will be a normal fuel tank. Yep. Yeah, pretty much a normal tank. I can see bits of um, black spray paint on the, down in the tank there from where they painted this. That's, that's weird. I'm sure it's dry, though. I'm sure it would have won't cause anything and, and they've even masking tape up the uh, the bolts to screw on the fuel tank uh, so they can spray paint the whole thing that's weird I've never seen that before I mean I hope it'll I and mean, I hope it'll be okay I mean you know we'll just put that there it'll be alright and I'd say that's everything anything down in there no. And I'd say that's everything, guys. Uh, nothing, just double checking. Oh, yeah, and the chain guard. There's a chain guard here as well. I don't think I'll be using that because I'm, uh, I'm like, if the chain falls off and you're out in the middle of nowhere, like this, like it'll be in the way and that sort of thing. It'll be a pain to get back on because this chain tensioner and um, you have to take it off everything like that. And yeah, that's it there. So, yeah, just a standard chain tensioner. We might be able to use it, I'll see, but if I can't use it, I'll, I just won't bother because, I mean, usually, 
um, you'd put that on if you were wearing like sh um, shorts while you were riding. In my opinion, it's not the s smartest idea to wear shorts while you're riding a motorized bike. Or even a dirt bike, I mean, it's, you know, it's just a bit... If you fall off, you know, you'll get um, that thing, I forgot what it's called, but it's um, um, the chain like... Um, uh, 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 it burns the side of your leg and it really hurts. Anyway, um, let's get this off and then um, let's start the build, eh? Alright guys, um, we've got the engine in. Uh, the frame is pretty much the right exact size to have this on. Um, I'll put the carby on. The throttle, I mean, that is just a weird looking throttle for a motorized bike. I'll accept it. I mean, you know, if it works, it works. Um, usually the rips would look either like this. I mean, that's just off a pit bike. Or, or they would look like this. Just like that. And then they'd have standard uh, throttle housing, just like this one here. And then... The engine wouldn't be brightly painted, you can't really see it, but that's just a silver engine. The, uh, on the carbine fuel tank and everything else is the same, but it's just a little bit weird. I'm sure it'll be alright though, I mean... Um, so I'm um, just about um, to mount the engine properly, and then after that we'll, um, we'll attach the exhaust, and we'll work out that chain then. Alright guys, I've got some different news. Um, I've decided to use my spare one of these um, throttle bits that go on the top of here, because um, it has a little hole where um, you can um, make a hole into the handlebars and then um, that'll stick in. And um, and that means um, it will stop it from moving around. Th this one that came with the kit um, has no hole in there. So it means like if I went um, to tug the throttle one time, it'll just um, slip back. Um, um, and I wonder how tight I'll tighten the bolts. It's still going to do that. So I'm going to use this, um, luckily I had one because I've had a Maraz bike before and I've just had a few spare parts. So I'm going to make a hole, I'm going to get the right size drill bit for that and then I'm going to make a hole. Alright guys, let's do that now. Guys, um, we have the hole ready to drill on the throttle, so um, we can have the throttle that, um, that um, doesn't um, slip back like you probably should. I have the hole aligned. Alright, let's just do this. Done, there you go. Now hopefully, it fits in. I've got this part here, hopefully it fits in. Hopefully. Um. Does that fit in? Uh, kind of. Not quite, I'm gonna have to space it out a bit. Out of it. That might work. Hope it does. I don't think I have a bigger drill bit. Yep, that works. So, I'll screw that in. And I'll get back to you. Alright guys, I got um, the kill switch installed. And I'm about to install um, the CDI. And I also got um, um, the throttle installed and working as well. Alright guys. So that's working pretty well. Um, yeah. So let's go. Um, yeah, um, let's do that now. Uh, uh, oh, and I also got um, the clutch lever and cable installed. Um, not down here though, but I'll do that in a second. Alright guys, so after a lot of mucking around, and I mean a lot of mucking around, like this took me ages to get, but I finally got um, the chain tension right. It's actually pretty perfect now. Um, so now what I'm going to do now is put uh, the clutch back on, and then I'm going to wire it up to the, um, the lever up here, with the cable that I've got over there. Alright, so... So yeah, let's, um, let's just do that then. Yeah, right, guys, so I have... Uh, the wires on. Now I'm pretty sure that's the right way because the blue one would go into the blue one and the black one goes into to, to the blue one and then um, there's two slots in each. So I reckon I would put uh, the green one in with the blue one and the other black one in with the black one. Yeah. And, and that sort of makes sense. I put my new NGK spark plug in and the boot. 
and the engine still needs to be mounted. I'm having a bit of trouble doing that, um, but I'm sure I'll find a way around it. And I'll also, uh, also put the exhaust pipe on as well. I, but I unscrewed the little thing there. And this, so this thing was supposed to be at the bottom there. And, 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 and this thing here um, silences it, so it makes it not noisy and that sort of thing. But I, um, but I took it off because I like the sound because it's noisier. And like it's more noisy. Um, yeah, so I can um, um, I, um, mount the engine and um, put some tape around this wires and then we might be able to go on a test ride and, and, and mount up all these cables and stuff like that with zip ties and yeah. Alright, I'll get back to you when it's done. Alright guys, so um, everything is put on. Now, it's time for a test ride. Now, um, all being well, I've wired it properly. Um, I've done all the throttles. I'm going to check um, the head bolts to see if they're tight enough. I put the fuel line on and the fuel tap as well, the fuel tank and the fuel filter. Um, the carb, that's already been on for a little while. Put the CD on and I also put uh, a bunch of tape all over the wires so, um, so um, they're heat resistant so they don't really get burnt from the exhaust pipe. Um, but apart from that, um, the chain looks alright. Alright, and I did an alright job with that. And the best, no, and another decent thing is, is um the pedals don't um hit the exhaust pipe, so that means um. So that means I don't need um to do any bending of the exhaust pipe to make it, you know, so, you know, so these don't hit it. But yeah, um, let's put um some two-stroke in. And let's go for a ride. But before that, um, I also um, tightened uh, this bolt here so like it can't really move around. So that's working now. Um, apart from that, yeah, I'm just put some two stroke in and let's go for a rip. And there we have it guys, uh, the new motorised bike, here it is, it's really nice, eh? Hey? Um, uh, 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 in fact this one sounds a little bit different to my other one, this one sounds like a two stroke uh, dirt bike for some reason, but I really like it, it's cool. Um, this one has a, has a nice throttle, it works pretty well, um, yeah, it's just, um, let's just go back to the house and um, we'll finish up. Right, guys, um, here we go, guys. So um, it goes pretty well. Um, I even rode it around this evening, just around there. It's dark now, but um, I've been riding it, you know, um, for a fair bit, and it goes pretty well. It's really comfortable as well. I mean, this seat is like so comfortable. Um, fuel tank. Um, the um, oh, there was a little problem. I was wondering. Um, it, it wasn't going as fast as my other ADCC because I'm um, the these are both um, the ADCC ones, but um, and, um, I searched it up, and the reason it was going a little bit slower um, was because um, the engine um, was um, running in, and yeah, and, um, yeah, because um, it's brand new, so um, um, yeah, so um, uh, um, the engine does need to be run in, um, so later on, 
I'm, I'm, yeah, it'll be going faster. Um, apart from that, yeah. Um, this one um, cost me one hundred and sixty dollars. Um, I got um the bike um for free from my dad, uh, which was in all in you know in decent shape and you know it was all working and everything. But um yeah, um, the kit uh, cost me one hundred and sixty. I doubt you'll be able to find one for that price right now, because I because I bought the cheapest one and for some reason they've raised the price. So um, um I can buy one of these for one hundred and seventy or one hundred and eighty cheapest um they're pretty good they're really fun as well and, and you know um i certainly think that everyone um should have one because they're just um really fun yep anyway guys um thank you for watching um i might be able to make some more videos soon maybe about my lawnmower here or just mowers or whipper snippers or even motorized bikes that sort of thing anyway guys i'm gonna I'm thank you for watching and leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Alright, see ya.